It has been a disappointing winter for snow lovers, but scientists say that could change now that La Nina, Nina is officially here. Uh, does that mean that things are going to take a snowy turn? Next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso gives us a closer look. After a long wait, NOAA says La Nina is officially here. That's when the sea surface temperatures along the equator in the Pacific Ocean drop below average. So the last long La Nina we had, it was a moderate La Nina lasted three winter seasons. And the last one was kind of like the grand finale, the winter of 22-23, where we had 90 inches of snow. So you can get big winters with the La Nina if they persist long enough. So far, this year has been anything but snowy, with no major storms and only about 9 inches of total accumulation. This La Nina is expected to be weak and only lasts until spring. But Minnesota DNR climatologist Pete Boulay says they can be tough to forecast. The tricky thing is you can't really predict them. They're not on a perfect cycle. It's not like one year you have an El Nino, then you have a La Nina. You could have three years of La Nina. So there's a lot of variability to it. So that's part of the reason why it's hard. The outlook for the rest of January through March looks to show the best chance of below average temperatures across western Minnesota and the best chance for above average precipitation on the other side of the state into Wisconsin. But Pete says don't give up hope since La Nina's wintry impacts usually show up in the second half of the season. For the snow lovers, what we need just to have the storm track shift back north a little bit, get one of those southwest storms to come back up here as long as we have this cold air in place, then we'll wait and see what happens. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News.